Hi there, thank you for joining me. I'm Tracy, and this is a DIY upcycling channel where we take pre-owned items and turn them into one-of-a-kind clothes, purses, and accessories. And today, I want to work on a flannel shirt. This is a men's XXL, and I want to make it a little more feminine. I am going to do some bleaching, some flower applique, and some lace. So, first thing we need to do is bleach. Let's go upstairs to my kitchen and get that done. Okay, my shirt has two pockets. I'm going to remove one, and as you're looking at it, it's on the right, but as you're wearing it, it's the left pocket. And I am not going to seam rip that or anything. I'm just going to cut outside those stitch lines. Okay, what my goal here is, is to bleach a patch right here. That's where I'll put my flower applique, and then I'm going to bleach a patch here and a patch on the back. And I'm going to use pure bleach. I poured some in a bowl. I like to use a t-shirt rag made out of a white t-shirt and a glove. Now, I use pure bleach. A lot of people will say don't do that, and I just rinse it. I don't give it any fancy baths or anything after I bleach it. I've been doing this for over a decade, and I've never had my bleach eat through anything, but the trick is to rinse, rinse, rinse. I don't dilute it because it has to sit on there longer and more opportunity to eat through your fabric in my experience. So as soon as it has changed to the color I want, I rinse it really fast and try to get as much of that bleach out of there as I can. Now I have an old cutting mat that I don't use anymore. It's pretty destroyed from all my years of cutting fringe. I'm going to put that in between the layers, the front and the back. Now bleach will get on this and other spots and I kind of want to have some drips and things, but I don't want it to be completely saturated through both layers. That's why I'm protecting it. I used to use a garbage bag. You can put a garbage bag in between the layers. Now I'm just going to take my bowl of bleach and I'm going to get my rag pretty saturated because I want it to kind of drip across the flannel a little bit. So maybe a couple little drips, but then I'm just going to swipe here. It's best to do a little test. I did a little test on this one I don't know if you can see how white that is. So I know that this will bleach pretty fast and it will get very light. So I'll let that side activate and I'm going to slide my little cutting mat over to the bottom side over here and swipe that. And then I'm going to turn it over. Now here's the bottom of the back. What I want to do is just sort of a little curved patch off to one side. Now I considered doing a little patch at the top on one side, but a lot of times I just go with what I'm feeling and I'm feeling the bottom right here. Okay. It's only been a couple minutes and it's already bleaching nicely. It will probably be about it on this one, only probably about another four or five minutes until it starts to get the lightness that I want. Some take a lot longer. This one's just going very fast. Okay, I'm liking how this is looking. By the time I get it to my sink and rinse it, it'll probably even go a little bit lighter, but I am going to rinse it wash it in my washer on warm cycle, soapy water, tumble dry, and we'll finish up the rest. Okay, so I have some thrifted fabrics with flower designs on them. Now, this was from a bed skirt, and I'm looking for sort of the more pinky red colored roses from the bed skirt. You can tell I've use this a lot on other projects 
And this was a curtain. It has some pretty flowers. Now, while my shirt is washing and drying, I'm just going to sit sit here and cut out some flowers and some leaves and things like that. And I'll show you what I end up with when I get it all cut out. Okay, I have some flowers cut out. I'm going to go search my stash and see if I can find anything else as far as flowers. But I also have these birds and these were actually from a pillow that I had in my guest room and I used them on another project and this is what I have left. I'm going to cut a couple of those out. I may or may not use them. I'll have to see how they look when I start laying them on the flannel shirt. Okay, here's what it looks like all bleached. And now I can start decorating it with the applique. Before I start laying anything out and pinning it, I'm just going to slip my old cutting mat in between these layers to make it easier to pin. A cardboard box, like a priority box flattened out is good for this too. Okay. Okay, so while my shirt was drying, I was playing with these applique. I think I'll put a little doily with each grouping. I think I'll put this one on the back, kind of have it laid out the way I want it. Now, here's the one I think I'll put on the top front part of the shirt. Now, here's another little grouping for the bottom part of the shirt. And I'm going to put a partial, if not a whole doily, with each one of those. And I'll show you how I do that. I'm going to start up here. And I'm going to lay everything I want here and then pin it all on. So... I just took a doily like this, and I think my grouping's kind of tall, so I think I'll lay this towards the bottom of the bleachy patch just to kind of finish that off and lay it about there. And now I'm going to lay the rest of my flowers on. Okay, I think I like how this looks. Now I'm just going to get everything pinned on securely. Now that I have everything pinned, I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and just go around all the edges, staying close to the edge, and just get all those sewn on. I will use a simple straight stitch and gold colored thread. this side all sewn. Now I'm going to do the same to this bleached area and the one on the back. Lay out my flowers and birds, pin them on and get them sewn. Now I have all my appliques sewn. And now the last thing I want to do is just sew some lace down at the bottom. I have a little stack of lace here and there's some of my bigger doilies, smaller table scarves, things like that. I didn't want little doilies and I didn't want big giant pieces of lace. So, you know, just pieces that look like this. I'll show you a few. Now I'm just laying out some of my lace and looking at it and I want my border of lace to be between six and seven inches. They do not have to be completely even. It, I think it's actually better looking if it's not. So this one's good. It's about six and three quarter. Now some of these I'm going to have to cut. I want about six and a half here. So I think I'll come in here, create a piece about like that, you know, and just play with it and get a bunch of pieces that are approximately, approximately six to seven inches. Now this one, 
all I need to do is cut out that little hole, make a straight line. And there I have a nice piece for my border. And I'll keep doing that until I think I have enough. Okay, I think I have enough to give me a good start. I can always come back and get more if I need to. Now how I'm going to sew this on, I'm going to sew it on the underside. So I'm going to open up this shirt. I'm going to come to one end and I will just take this to my machine in a pile like this and kind of pick which one I want to start with. And I am going to overlap the bottom of my flannel about half an inch. And I'm going to use a zigzag stitch, my largest zigzag stitch. I'm going to use gold thread and I'm just going to sew these pieces along the edge. And when I run out of one, need to start another, I'm just going to overlap it one or two inches. I'm not going to sew these all together. Now, the one little thing that I have to tell you is if you sew it straight on like this, they tend to pucker and come in towards your leg. So what I do is every now and then I'll just pinch pleat it a little bit. That just makes it lay so much nicer the way it should so it doesn't suck in towards your leg. So I'll do that. And some of these I'll have to do that a little bit more than others. This one's really flat and straight. Now this one has a nice curve. So it might be okay to just sew straight on. You just have to feel out what you have. All right, I'm going to go get those sewn. Okay, here it is all done. Now we have an artsy tunic, so fun. Now, when I wash and dry this, the edges of the appliques will fray a little bit and so will the lace underneath. I may have to trim some extra long ones. And when I sold, I would definitely wash and dry this before I took pictures, just so that my customer was sure to see what the fraying would look like. Now I'll bring this in closer in just a second, but first I want to tell you, let me come in a little close. Okay, so I did something kind of fun this week. I was on a podcast and it's called the Get Thrifty Podcast and it's hosted by Maggie Skivick and she's wonderful. And it's associated with the art thrift stores. Now they interview people in all regards to thrifting, there are collectors, there are resellers, there are upcyclers, and even more. And so the interview with me was about a half an hour long. It was a lot of fun. I'm going to put that link to the podcast in my description if you're interested. So I'll bring this in a little closer so you can have a closer look. And I thank you so, so much for watching.